And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. When we last left off, I was absolutely not looking forward to looking what's behind that corner. Um, this one. In fact, um, but before we do anything, let us hack the security station. Um, because that actually makes everything much easier. Um, we are getting radiated, which is not good. Um, as you can see, you should not. Uh, you should avoid. Try to avoid getting radiated because radiation will eventually kill you. Okay. Um, moving on. Um, this is Xerxes. Why do you persist? Yeah. I must say that these guys are actually not that... Oh shit. I actually thought he was dead, but he wasn't. Um, yeah, these guys aren't actually that scary. Um, well, they are that scary, but they are not that danger dangerous because... And we found some armor. Because um, they are very slow and they also... Um, they take a, quite a long time to reload. So this is the reason why we disabled the security system because otherwise we would have got shot by the... Um, uh, turret. Yeah. Okay. Um, and some... Hmm, apparently there is some something we cannot conceive. Um like a child. I think that I cannot conceive because I am a man. Well uh, they don't actually say what your agenda is in this game, so maybe not. Okay. There is the Exit Cartoon deck well done. two. Yeah, and we got some cyber cyber modules. So that's apparently the corpse of Dr. Grassi, which actually looks like every every other person in the game. Um, they didn't apparently they didn't have that many uh, yeah character models. That's not to be expected in such an old game. Ah, and there's a met hyper which I would have almost missed, but I didn't. Um, yeah, and there is this room um, where we can actually grab some, yeah, uh, some cybernetic modules, some nanites, and their hypo. Um, we shouldn't stay for too long in this room because we are getting radiated. Okay, the radiation has now been removed. We have 14 cyber modules and we have a um, number of text logs which we have picked up but haven't yet read. I would like to suggest that we actually, um, and I adjust my microphone, that we will read these text logs, text logs in the safety of the, um, yeah, bulk, so this, what are these are called, these thingies, yeah. So we will read these text logs. Um, so these are two from Dr. Watts. Um, Since returning from the surface of Tau Ceti 5, the patient has experienced numerous novel phenomena. Evident Sorry. Since returning um, from the surface of Tau Ceti 5, the patient has experienced numerous novel phenomena evidenced by inflammatory nodular growth and the presence of a large worm-like parasite. This morning, the parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached uh. one end of itself to the subject's forehead. If I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it... <sighs> Final diagnosis beats the hell out of me. I'd love to refer this to Midorsky at CDC. 
but unfortunately he's 67 trillion miles away. Hmm. So apparently the people that visited Tau Ceti have been infected by some kind of worm. Um, that explains these strange mutated mutated guys that are charging at us with their shotguns. Patient Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Despite zero respiratory mm. and brain function, the body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. Hmm. Yeah. Um, in other words, we are dealing with zombies here. Uh, and the final note by Dr. Curtis. Medical tells me they've replicated a whole bunch of rat hypos. I'm gonna pick those up and distribute them to the engineering staff unless anyone gets a better idea. Watts also asked me to check on the replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. Hmm. Okay, we should um, remember that um, to check for the crew lounge. Ah, we actually have been there. Um, that. Yeah. And we should. Um, so this is in shoddy condition. This is in fair condition. Um, so let's drop the shoddy pistol. Let's pick up the psi amp and the other stuff because we might need it. Um, I don't think we need this. Well, we can pick it up anyway. Uh, oh, we. Yeah, we did pick it up. Okay. Um, should try to find um, the upgrade unit, um, which is right over here. Um, one good thing is that um, enemies don't spawn in this area, so we don't have to worry about those. Okay. Now we need to decide where, how we are going to spend those 14 cyber modules. Um, but I, de I definitely want to spend those in hacking because um, if you have on um, level 4, so if you have level 4 in hacking, you can actually hack um, security turrets. Now you can, you can already disable security turrets by disabling the security system, but you can also hack security turrets such that they will um, target your enemies, which is extremely useful. Um, on the other hand, we are also forced. Um, you cannot avoid combat in this game, so actually spending some points in standard weapons would probably be a good idea. On the other hand. Okay, uh, do we have some maintenance tools? Um, no, okay. So I think right now we are just going to depend on our trusty wrench and the fact that we will pick up enough uh, pistols. So let us actually yeah, invest those in hacking. So we have some two... Yeah, we're not going to get anywhere with these two cyber, cyber modules. Okay. So we are now at level 4 on hacking. Um, we have got the, um, the access card from Dr. Watts. Um, yeah, it was Dr. Watts. Okay. No, Dr. Grassi. That should be the access card from Dr. Grassi. Um, that is stopped there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now we sh shall... Okay, where are our objectives? Yeah, we have got the keycard from Dr. Grassi. Now we need to get to the crew section. Um, Watch out. Ah. I'm getting strange so these... From that radar dish outside the window. Yeah, it's so these emails we, we already yeah, read, I believe. Okay. So let us, without any further ado, head um, head back and head to the crew section. Uh, whilst avoiding those enemies, which do in fact respawn. 
So the cool section was uh, here, I believe. Um, so let us drop the Siam for them uh, in the meantime. So we don't, since we don't need it, um, unless, well, we we will, yeah, at least not until we get some some points in um, psycho psycho abilities or psychic abilities, rather. Okay. Good, you've made it into the crew sector. Now find Doctor Watts' room. Ah. Uh, we will do so, and someone is following me, I think. Um, but before we do that, we will we will be disabling. Well, we will disable the security system because there will probably be some cameras, and if they are, they will trigger the security alarm, which will cause countless number of enemies to spawn and chase us, which we do not want to happen, of course. Uh, but, yeah, um, we should, before we do anything, we should look for the security, we should look for security cameras and disable those. Yeah. No, I am not. Um, I am, in fact. Uh, my flesh will what? So I didn't pay attention. I was too busy um, not paying attention. Okay, I, f I heard. Where's the security camera? Ah, there it is. Okay, uh, yeah, we have disabled one security camera and now we shall head back and check what is actually um, in that room. Okay, there are some pretty pictures which you can actually change by clicking on the thing. Uh, those are fi probably famous pictures from art history, but which I completely failed to uh, recognize. Yeah, these are some religious motives. Um, there is a magazine and an audio log. Uh, Okay, we can't do much with the magazine, I think. Um, let's hear that audio log uh, from Dr. Korenshin. We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've been in negotiation with Captain Diego of the Rickenbacker and after some coercion, he's agreed to go planet side as a joint venture. Imagine, this historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. And who is there to get exclusive rights to all media, patents, and land grants? Try optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. Hmm. I don't think it was really ugh. And some frame rate drops. Um I don't think that going visiting Tau Seti was such a swell idea. Um my frame rate is going berserk right now. Um I do apologize. I'm actually now recording this in 60 frames per second and with fraps, um, which first of all should r get rid of the screen screen tearing. Um, well, it did get it does get rid of the screen tearing, but it also gives um, me some horrible frame drops in frame rate. Apparently, okay. Uh, I think this is a good time to stop um, and when we'll come back I will not pick up this grenade launcher because it's broken anyway but I will have probably fixed that issue with the frame rate and then we will yeah explore the rest of the crew section 
and get the thing that we need in order to get the thing that we need in order to get the thing that we need in order to get to deck number four. Okay. So until next time folks, until then.